Did you ever notice how many good things come in threes? Ever since the invention of fast food, we've been socially conditioned to think in terms of threes. Small, medium, and large. But choices aren't always about size or flavor or color. When you travel, do you prefer the standard room, the ocean view, or do you like to upgrade to the junior suite? Well, that concept of good, better, best extends to the SolidWorks product family. As you know, we offer SolidWorks CAD in three configurations, standard, professional, and premium. But even that can be confusing since each package is stocked with all kinds of capabilities. What's in each package? Which one do I have? Am I getting the most out of the software? Let's take the next few minutes to understand the key differences, highlight some of the capabilities of each package, and show you how to keep track of it all. Think of it this way. SolidWorks Standard is designed for the casual user who needs the core capabilities of parts, assemblies, and drawings, including surfacing, sheet metal, weldments, and mold tools. But it also includes 3D interconnect, so you can incorporate CAD files from other systems into your designs without translation. When the originating CAD file changes, everything is always up to date in SolidWorks. And then there's the FeatureWorks add-in for doing parametric feature recognition on dumb solids like STEP or IGES files, so you don't have to start over from scratch. SolidWorks Professional includes everything in SolidWorks Standard, but adds several productivity boosters intended for the everyday user who needs to do their job faster and more efficiently. Starting with SolidWorks Toolbox, the built-in library of over a million standard components that smart mate and auto-size themselves when dropped into your assemblies. SolidWorks Professional includes two photo rendering apps, PhotoView 360 for making quick concept renders while working inside SolidWorks, and SolidWorks Visualize, a standalone app for creating magazine-quality professional renderings. There's SolidWorks Costing, so you can consider cost estimates for various design alternatives before prototyping, and the task scheduler for automating common tasks like file conversions and batch printing. SolidWorks Premium adds specialty tools for the power user, like simulation, so you can test your parts and assemblies for stress, deformation, and factor of safety under static loads. Kinematic and dynamic motion simulation helps you visualize range of motion, calculate velocity, acceleration, and reaction forces so you can size motors and other components before physical testing. SolidWorks Routing provides libraries and intelligent automation for piping, tubing, ductwork, and electrical wiring, tasks that are otherwise time-consuming and error-prone. 3D Interconnect is enhanced in SOLIDWORKS Premium so you can open native CATIA models without requiring an additional translator. That's a quick tour of just a few of the highlights from each package. So how do you access all these capabilities? Easy. Just go to Tools Add-ins. As soon as you request a professional or premium add-in, the SOLIDWORKS License Manager keeps track of everything and floats the license if one is available. You can enable an add-in just for your current work session, or check the box in the startup column to reserve an add-in, say, for the duration of a project. When you're done using an add-in, just uncheck the box to make that license available for another user. Just like Cokes and Fries, good things come in threes. SolidWorks Standard includes the core capabilities for the casual user. SolidWorks Professional adds productivity tools for the everyday user, and SolidWorks Premium enables specialty tools for the power user. It's not quite as simple as choosing between small, medium, and large, but you should now have a better understanding of how these packages stack up so you can pick the right tools to do your job. And hopefully you found at least one new capability you didn't know was in the software. Why not try it out on your next project? And if you're not sure how to get started, visit MySolidWorks for self-paced tutorials and videos.